Good afternoon, I'm down in the Belfast docks and I'm down in what remains of Sailor Town. Once a thriving community down here and I'm afraid actually decimated because of uh, the motorway that ran right through it. And this is and still remains the hub of that community of uh, what remains of old Schuller town. This is St Joseph's Catholic Church. And it was closed some time ago and deconsecrated as far as I know. And uh, the residents that remain in this area and the supporters of uh, the church and Sailor Town um, tried uh, unsuccessfully to keep it open and they are crowdfunding for uh, refurbishment. Uh, an historic church this and it, it's open to the public uh, over the last three days as part of the Belfast uh, Maritime Festival. Pat's Bar just down at the end, now empty, Rotterdam Bar down there um, and also a further up here, uh, the American Bar, uh, just on the corner there, and it's closed as well, as far as I know. So I'm just going to uh, show you some of the uh, old photographs that are uh, around the hoardings here. There's the streets around here. This, these streets were a hive uh, of activity. Uh, these streets were filled with um, people from all parts of the world. Uh, there was an Italian quarter. There were several Italian families here. Um, and and, and, and sh sh maritime families from all over the world. And it was a, it was a thriving community. You can see that from the, uh, the, the communion uh, pictures there. The visit of the great Sonny Liston to Jerry McAllister, Pat Quinn and family at their Dock Street residence in Sailor Town is not something. I've been trying to get into this church for for a long time and hopefully today is the day that I'll be able to video inside it. Just try and get these these plaques. Loving memory. Memory of Claire Hughes, four and a half, and Paula Strong, six and a half, died on Halloween night, 1972, as a result of a car bomb in Benny's Bar, Ship Street. Suffer the little children to come on to me. In, in loving memory of Gerald Grogan, age 17, Thomas Osborne, age 18, who were murdered in a gun attack on Casey's bottling plant Millfield 2nd of October 1975 and I'm just coming through the doors of St Joseph's Church and there's a lot of significant architecture here and it's a it's a listed building and unfortunately it needs a lot of attention and the folks here in the regeneration group haven't got the money, so they're campaigning to raise funds. So here I am doing a 360 inside St. Joseph's Catholic Church, Sailor Town. Hopefully this will bring back a few memories for a few folks.
to see the church looking like this or any church looking like this the church was built in 1880 and it was deconsecrated in 2003 and there was an awful lot of controversy about that there was a lot of well not to put a not to put a too fair a point on it there's a lot of anger in the local community because this was part of the community, this was the hub of the community and it was being closed and the people didn't really have an awful lot of say. So we've got <coughs> New Dock Street. This was all Sailor Town as it was. Mar Marine Street, Ship Street, Fleet Street, Dock Street. <laughs> and there was a Pilot Street somewhere as well. And you can see from the, the map here that the docks, the graving docks were just next door to the uh, to where the people lived and the boys came off the boats and they married they went to the to the bars and all the rest of it and they married local girls uh, so so sailor town became a, a center a hub of, of, of um, <clears throat> it, it is a totally uh, cosmopolitan community I find it quite quite interesting that so many nationalities were um, represented in Sailor Town because of the maritime connection. And many of these boys uh, reared in Sailor Town went on to the Navy. They went on to the Merchant Navy, they went on to the, uh, the Royal Navy. <laughs> Here's some of the uh, original pews from the church that have been kept. And there's a big, uh, there's a big uh, educational poster here, which I'm going to video. Sailor Town, Belfast. And you can read this for yourself. And we had another priest who came just after the hospital in the hall of the A thriving community. And those two men were the only one who was. To my knowledge, they never came from St. Joseph's Church. They never had any experience. Thank God, I was on my family and job. I was so proud. And there's all the information that you need to know about Sailor Town, who to contact, get information, or, or bring information, or bring artifacts, or whatever uh, you want to do. This we uh, Maritime Mile Treasure Trail um, shows the position of Sailor Town as regards the, uh, the rest of Belfast docks. We've got the lagging running down the, the, the middle there, we've got Donegal Quay to the right hand side, Queen's Quay and Victoria Channel going on out, the Abercorn Basin across there, Titanic Quarter and HMS Caroline out there, and this is Sailor Town with York Dock just to the left of it. There you go.